So I, I don't know if you're backing me into a corner with that question, but yes, I, I do. Do you, I mean, do you believe that? Do you believe all white people are inherently racist? So I, I don't know if you're backing me into a corner with that question, but yes, I, I do. You, do you believe power can corrupt? Yes. Do I believe most people can appropriately and fairly control the power they have over others at various times? Yes, if they know they have that power. White people do not want to believe they have that power because they can't control it. Similarly, black people do not want to believe they have any power over white people because they can't control it. What's happened in the United States specifically because of the act of trying to dehumanize human beings? And having that being in conjunction with financial transactions nobody want to ever admit that they are knowledgeable of any power they have over others that isn't financial. The thing is neither white people or black people are unique to the United States and while there is some crossover for the most part the biggest problem is that instead of saying all Americans of all ethnicities people keep getting manipulated into making it about race and not the entire country. Basically every time a black person or white person mentions race instead of saying all people in USA systemic racism wins. That wasn't always the case because not enough people knew of it or acknowledged its existence but now that it's happened it's actually furthering white supremacy to say things like all white people are inherently racist, even if true, because it leaves out the fact that so are all black people, and others in the USA right now it's like a marriage where neither person wants to admit they have any power or control over the other person, you could get divorced, marry others, date, etc. But it's delusional to believe a person you're married to doesn't have and or never had any power over you, and that goes both ways. It's like the United States of America is in marriage counseling and there was and is times to address specific things each person has and or is doing but overall everything needs to be approached with the first and foremost acknowledgement, that it's the marriage that needs to function best for all more than any individual does. Basically how many couples you know successfully benefited from marriage counseling? Serious question. Tried it twice, both times we broke up afterwards.